Ah, the thrill of a new job. The fresh stationery, the shiny name badge, the lingering scent of ambition in the air. But before that new recruit can conquer the world, or at least their inbox, there's the crucial matter of onboarding. Simply throwing someone into the deep end isn't exactly a recipe for success. This is where a proper onboarding process comes in. We're talking about a well-structured, engaging introduction to your company's ecosystem. Think of it as the difference between handing someone a jumbled jigsaw puzzle and providing them with a clear picture to follow. Let's embark on this enlightening journey, shall we? After all, time waits for no new hire, and we've got a lot to cover. Onboarding might seem like a modern concept, but it's actually as old as humanity itself. Humans have been onboarding since the days of fire and the wheel, passing down essential skills and knowledge. Picture a group of cave dwellers gathered around a fire, sharing survival tips and stories. One innovative individual discovers how to make a sharper spear, revolutionizing hunting. Does he keep it to himself? No. He shares it with his community, starting the tradition of knowledge transfer. In ancient Egypt, the construction of pyramids wasn't left to chance. Master architects had detailed onboarding programs, ensuring everyone knew their roles, from laborers to overseers. The Romans also valued smooth transitions for new recruits. New legionaries underwent rigorous training, learning Roman warfare, discipline and strategy. Onboarding has evolved over the ages, ensuring new team members feel they belong and can contribute effectively. Modern techniques enhance this experience, making onboarding more efficient and engaging. Interactive training and technology now play a crucial role in onboarding. Team building activities help new hires integrate quickly and build strong relationships. The pros of traditional methods combined with modern techniques create a comprehensive onboarding experience, ensuring success for everyone involved. Thankfully, we've moved on from smoke signals and hieroglyphics. Today's onboarding is all about efficiency, engagement, and ensuring our new recruits feel like valuable assets. We've got snazzy HR software that automates paperwork, interactive online modules, and even virtual reality simulations. But it's not all about the tech. The human touch is still paramount. Assigning buddies or mentors, creating welcoming team environments, and fostering open communication are key. A well-oiled onboarding process benefits everyone, leading to increased productivity and job satisfaction. Let's embrace the evolution of onboarding where technology and human connection intertwine to create a remarkable experience. Now, you might think that all this talk of onboarding is just touchy-feely HR jargon, but let me assure you there's more to it than meets the eye. There's a method to this madness. Scientists have been studying the onboarding process for years and the results are nothing short of fascinating. For instance, a 2020 study by Glassdoor found that organizations with a strong onboarding process improve new hire retention by an impressive 82% and boost productivity by over 70%. These numbers are hard to ignore. The reason for this is deeply rooted in basic psychology. It's not just about filling out forms and getting a tour of the office, Humans inherently crave structure, clarity, and a sense of belonging. These are fundamental needs that, when met, can significantly impact one's performance and satisfaction. A well-designed onboarding process provides all of that and more. It's a comprehensive approach that ensures new hires feel welcomed and prepared. It reduces uncertainty, sets clear expectations, and helps new hires feel valued and connected to the organization from day one. When people feel good, they perform well. It's science. This positive feeling translates into better work outcomes. They're more engaged, motivated, and committed to their work. This level of engagement is crucial for the overall success of the company. So the next time someone scoffs at the idea of a lengthy onboarding process, hit them with some science. Show them the data and the psychological principles that back it up. Now, you might think onboarding begins on day one, right? Wrong. It actually starts much earlier than that. The seeds of a successful onboarding experience are sown long before the new hire sets foot in the office. It's a process that begins with careful planning and strategic thinking. 
It all starts with the job description. This document is more than just a list of duties and responsibilities. It's a chance to showcase your company culture and values. Think of it as your company's first impression. Think of it as a first date. You want to put your best foot forward. You want to attract the right talent by highlighting what makes your company unique. Then comes the interview process. This is where you can really get to know the candidate. This is an opportunity to go beyond the CV and get to know the candidate as a person. It's about understanding their aspirations and how they align with your company's goals. It's about building a connection and ensuring that the candidate feels valued and respected. This connection can be the foundation of a long-term relationship. And if they don't get the job, it's not the end of the road. A positive interview experience can leave a lasting impression. It can turn candidates into advocates for your company, even if they don't join your team. The pre-onboarding phase is crucial for building excitement and anticipation for the new role. Engaging potential hires early on creates a seamless and positive experience. This early investment pays off in the long run, ensuring new hires feel welcomed and integrated from day one. Ah, the first day at a new job. It's a cocktail of emotions, excitement, anticipation and the urge to find the coffee machine. A well-structured onboarding process can be the difference between a smooth transition and a complete meltdown. Let's roll out the red carpet, a well-organised workspace, a warm welcome from the team and a clear schedule for the day. Provide them with all the necessary tools and resources, give them a tour of the office and ensure they have a buddy or mentor. Encourage questions and create an open and welcoming environment. A well-informed new hire is a confident and productive new hire. Alleviate anxiety by making them feel welcomed and supported. Create a warm and encouraging environment from day one. With these tips, day one jitters will be a thing of the past. Welcome to a smooth and enjoyable onboarding experience. Now, you might think that once the initial introductions are done, the onboarding process is complete. But onboarding isn't a one-and-done deal. It's an ongoing journey of growth and integration. Think of it like tending to a garden. You wouldn't just plant the seeds and walk away. You'd water them and ensure they have enough sunshine. The same principle applies to new hires. Regular check-ins, constructive feedback, and opportunities for professional development are crucial. Investing in your employees' development is beneficial for them and a smart business move. Let's embrace a holistic approach to onboarding, one that nurtures growth and fosters talent. Now, I know what you're thinking. This all sounds fantastic, but where do we even begin? Well, worry not, my friends, because I have just the solution for you, onboarding software. Onboarding software helps you create a tailored onboarding process that's both engaging and effective. From crafting compelling job descriptions to designing interactive training programs, mentorship programs are another key resource. They offer career coaching services to help your new hires navigate their new roles and achieve their full potential. With these tools and resources, you can say goodbye to onboarding woes and hello to a happier, more productive workforce. Onboarding software streamlines the process, making it easier for everyone involved. Mentorship programs provide the personal touch that software alone can't offer. Together, these tools ensure a successful onboarding experience. Embrace these resources and watch your new hires thrive. So, there you have it, my friends. The ultimate guide to mastering the art of onboarding. We've journeyed from the ancient practices of cave dwellers to the modern marvels of technology. Remember, onboarding is not just a box to be ticked. It's an investment in your company's future. It's about creating a culture of welcome, support and growth. And if you're feeling overwhelmed by the prospect of revamping your onboarding process, fear not, CM Yoga Coaching and Consulting is here to guide you. Book a complimentary career breakthrough call today and discover how we can help you transform your onboarding. Let's make our new hires feel welcomed, valued and empowered. Onwards and upwards. Now that our onboarding journey has taken off, let's not forget the crucial role of continuous feedback. Feedback isn't just for annual reviews. It's a vital part of an employee's growth and satisfaction. 
Regular feedback sessions create a culture of open communication where employees feel heard and valued. This ongoing dialogue helps to identify areas for improvement and recognize achievements, fostering a sense of accomplishment and direction. By making feedback an integral part of your company culture, you're not just managing performance, you're nurturing potential and driving success. So keep those lines of communication open and watch as your team thrives. Remember, feedback is the bridge between onboarding and long-term success. As we continue to build a thriving workplace, it's essential to foster a culture of continuous learning. Learning doesn't stop after onboarding. In fact, it's just the beginning. By encouraging ongoing education and skill development, you empower employees to grow and innovate. This not only boosts their confidence, but also drives the company forward. Imagine a workplace where curiosity is celebrated and every team member feels equipped to tackle new challenges. Providing access to resources, training sessions and mentorship programs can make this vision a reality. A learning culture doesn't just benefit individuals, it creates a dynamic and adaptable organisation. So invest in your team's growth and watch as they transform into a powerhouse of knowledge and creativity. Remember, a culture of learning is the cornerstone of long-term success. As we've discussed the importance of continuous learning, it's time to delve into a critical component of this journey, mentorship. Imagine stepping into a new role with the guidance of someone who has already walked the path. Mentorship bridges the gap between theoretical knowledge and practical application. It's not just about answering questions, it's about fostering a relationship where new hires can thrive. A mentor provides insights, shares experiences and offers support that can be invaluable during the onboarding process. They help new employees navigate the company culture, understand their roles better and build confidence. Mentorship encourages open communication, allowing new hires to ask questions freely and learn from real-life scenarios. But mentorship goes beyond the first few weeks. It's an ongoing relationship that can evolve into a powerful tool for career development. Mentors can help identify strengths, guide professional growth, and even open doors to new opportunities within the organisation. Creating a structured mentorship programme within your onboarding process can significantly enhance the new hire experience. It shows that the company values their growth and is committed to their success. So, as you build a culture of learning, remember that mentorship is your secret weapon. It's the human connection that transforms onboarding from a checklist into a meaningful journey. Invest in mentorship and watch as your new hires not only adapt but excel. After all, a mentor doesn't just teach, they inspire, empower and pave the way for the next generation of leaders. As we transition from the role of mentorship, let's address a growing and essential aspect of modern onboarding, welcoming remote employees. In today's digital age, more companies are embracing remote work, making it crucial to adapt our onboarding processes accordingly. Onboarding remote employees comes with its own set of challenges and opportunities. First, communication is key. Without the luxury of face-to-face -face interactions, clear and consistent communication becomes even more critical. Utilise video calls, instant messaging and collaborative tools to keep remote hires connected and informed. Regular check-ins and virtual meetups can help bridge the gap and foster a sense of belonging. Next, ensure that remote employees have all the necessary tools and resources from day one. This includes not only hardware and software, but also access to company documents, training materials and support networks. A smooth tech setup can make a significant difference in their initial experience. Creating a virtual onboarding plan is essential. Schedule online training sessions, interactive workshops and virtual team building activities. Encourage participation and engagement just as you would with in-person onboarding. Additionally, foster a remote friendly culture. Make sure that remote employees feel included in the company's social fabric, celebrate achievements, recognise contributions and maintain transparency in communication. Mentorship plays a vital role here as well. Pair remote hires with mentors who can guide them through the nuances of working remotely within your organisation. This support system can help them navigate challenges and integrate smoothly into the team. 
In conclusion, effective remote onboarding is about more than just logistics. It's about creating an inclusive, supportive and engaging environment where remote employees can thrive. By investing in robust remote onboarding practices, you're setting the stage for long-term success and satisfaction. Remember, distance doesn't diminish the impact of a well-executed onboarding process. With the right approach, your remote hires will feel just as connected and valued as those in the office. As we move beyond the initial stages of onboarding, it's crucial to focus on the first 90 days of a new hire's journey. This period is pivotal in setting expectations, establishing goals, and ensuring a smooth transition into their new role. First and foremost, clarity is key. Make sure your new hires understand their responsibilities, performance metrics, and how their role fits into the bigger picture. This transparency helps them align their efforts with the company's objectives and feel more confident in their contributions. Next, establish short-term goals. Break down their first 90 days into manageable milestones. This approach not only makes their workload seem less overwhelming, but also provides a sense of accomplishment as they achieve each milestone. Regular check-ins and progress reviews are essential during this time provide constructive feedback and recognize their achievements. This ongoing dialogue helps address any concerns early on and reinforces positive behaviors. Encourage open communication and be approachable for any questions or guidance they might need. Additionally, foster a sense of community. Introduce them to key team members and encourage participation in team activities and meetings. Building these relationships early on helps new hires feel more integrated and supported. Mentorship continues to play a vital role here. Ensure they have a mentor or buddy to turn to for advice and support. This relationship can provide invaluable insights and help them navigate the company culture more effectively. In conclusion, the first 90 days are about more than just settling in. They're about laying a strong foundation for future success. By setting clear expectations, providing ongoing support, and fostering a sense of belonging, you're helping your new hires thrive from day one. Remember, a well-structured and supportive onboarding process paves the way for a motivated, engaged and successful workforce. The importance of company culture. Company culture is the heartbeat of any organization. It's the shared values, beliefs and practices that shape the way we work and interact with each other. For new hires, Understanding and embracing this culture is crucial for their integration and long-term success. First, let's talk about the role of leadership in fostering a positive culture. Leaders set the tone for the entire organization. Their actions and attitudes towards work, collaboration and innovation trickle down to every employee. Make sure your leadership team embodies the values you want to see throughout the company. Next, communication plays a pivotal role. Transparent and open communication helps build trust and respect among team members. Encourage your new hires to voice their ideas and concerns. This not only makes them feel valued, but also fosters a culture of continuous improvement. Inclusion and diversity are also key components of a strong company culture. Embrace the unique perspectives and backgrounds of your employees. This diversity can lead to more innovative solutions and a more dynamic work environment. Ensure that your new hires feel welcomed and included regardless of their background. Another aspect to consider is work-life balance. A healthy work-life balance is essential for employee well-being and productivity. Promote policies and practices that encourage employees to take care of their personal lives as well as their professional responsibilities. Lastly, celebrate successes and milestones. Recognize and reward the hard work and achievements of your employees. This not only boosts morale, but also reinforces the positive aspects of your company culture. In conclusion, a strong company culture is the foundation of a thriving organization. By fostering a positive, inclusive and supportive environment, you're setting your new hires up for success and ensuring the long-term health of your company. Remember, it's not just about what we do, but how we do it. Let's build a culture we can all be proud of. Tools and resources for new hires. Starting a new job can be overwhelming, but having the right tools and resources at your fingertips can make all the difference. 
In this chapter, we'll explore the essential tools and resources that will help new hires hit the ground running. First, let's talk about the importance of a comprehensive onboarding portal. This portal should be a one-stop shop for all the information new hires need, from company policies and procedures to training materials and FAQs. Make sure it's user-friendly and easily accessible. Next, provide your new hires with a detailed employee handbook. This handbook should cover everything from company history and values to benefits and compensation. It's a valuable resource that new hires can refer to whenever they have questions. Another essential resource is a mentorship program. Pairing new hires with experienced employees can help them navigate their new roles and build valuable relationships within the company. Mentors can provide guidance, answer questions and offer support during the onboarding process. Don't forget about technology. Ensure that new hires have access to all the necessary software and tools they'll need to perform their jobs effectively. Provide training on how to use these tools and offer ongoing support as they get up to speed. Communication tools are also crucial. Make sure new hires are familiar with the company's communication platforms, whether it's email, instant messaging or project management software. Clear and effective communication is key to successful collaboration. Lastly, encourage new hires to take advantage of any professional development opportunities available. Whether it's online courses, workshops or conferences, investing in their growth and development will benefit both the employee and the company. In conclusion, providing new hires with the right tools and resources is essential for their success and integration into the company. By equipping them with the information and support they need, you're setting them up for a smooth and productive onboarding experience. Remember, a well-prepared new hire is a confident and capable new hire. The role of HR in onboarding. The Human Resources Department plays a pivotal role in ensuring that new hires feel welcomed and supported from day one. But what exactly does HR do during the onboarding process? Let's dive in. First and foremost, HR is responsible for creating a welcoming environment. This starts with a warm and informative welcome email or packet that outlines what the new hire can expect on their first day. This initial communication sets the tone for the entire onboarding experience. Next, HR coordinates all the necessary paperwork. From tax forms to benefits enrolment, HR ensures that new hires complete all required documentation promptly and accurately. This helps avoid any potential issues down the line. HR also plays a key role in scheduling orientation sessions. These sessions introduce new hires to the company's culture, values and policies. They also provide an opportunity for new hires to meet their colleagues and build connections. Another critical function of HR is to facilitate training and development. HR works closely with managers to ensure that new hires receive the training they need to succeed in their roles. This includes both initial training and ongoing development opportunities. HR is also responsible for monitoring the progress of new hires during the onboarding process. Regular check-ins and feedback sessions help identify any challenges or concerns early on. This proactive approach ensures that new hires feel supported and can address any issues before they become significant problems. Additionally, HR serves as a resource for new hires. Whether it's answering questions about company policies or providing guidance on career development, HR is there to support new employees every step of the way. In conclusion, the role of HR in onboarding is multifaceted and essential. By creating a welcoming environment, coordinating paperwork, facilitating training and providing ongoing support, HR helps new hires integrate smoothly into the company. Remember, a successful onboarding experience starts with a strong partnership between HR and new hires. Onboarding metrics and KPIs. As the old saying goes, you can't manage what you don't measure. This rings especially true in the onboarding process. But what exactly should you be measuring? Let's explore the key metrics and KPIs that can help you gauge the effectiveness of your onboarding program. First up, the time to productivity metric. This measures how long it takes for new hires to reach full productivity. A shorter time to productivity indicates a more efficient onboarding process. Next, consider the new hire retention rate. 
This KPI tracks the percentage of new employees who stay with the company for a specified period, typically one year. A high retention rate suggests that your onboarding program is effective in integrating new hires into the company culture. Another critical metric is employee satisfaction. Conducting surveys and feedback sessions can help you understand how new hires feel about their onboarding experience. High satisfaction levels are often correlated with better engagement and performance. Additionally, it's important to measure the completion rate of onboarding tasks. This includes everything from orientation sessions to training programs. A high completion rate indicates that new hires are receiving the information and support they need to succeed. Don't forget about the cost of onboarding. Calculating the total expenses involved in bringing a new hire up to speed can help you identify areas for cost savings and efficiency improvements. Finally, consider tracking the performance of new hires. This can include metrics like sales targets, project completions or customer satisfaction scores. Comparing these metrics before and after the onboarding process can provide valuable insights into its effectiveness. In conclusion, measuring the right metrics and KPIs is crucial for optimising your onboarding process. By focusing on time to productivity, retention rates, employee satisfaction, task completion, onboarding costs and new hire performance, you can ensure that your onboarding programme is both effective and efficient. Remember, continuous improvement is the key to a successful onboarding experience. Continuous improvement in onboarding. Onboarding is not a one-time event, but an ongoing process that evolves with your organisation. So how can you ensure that your onboarding programme remains effective and relevant? The answer lies in continuous improvement. First, regularly review your onboarding metrics and KPIs. Use this data to identify areas that need enhancement. For instance, if your time to productivity is longer than expected, consider refining your training materials or offering additional support. Next, gather feedback from new hires. Conduct surveys, focus groups or one-on-one -on -one interviews to understand their onboarding experience. This feedback is invaluable for pinpointing what works and what doesn't. Additionally, keep an eye on industry trends and best practices. Onboarding strategies are continually evolving and staying informed can give you a competitive edge. Attend conferences, read industry publications and network with other HR professionals to stay ahead of the curve. Don't forget to involve your existing employees in the process. They can offer insights into how new hires are integrating into the team and suggest improvements based on their own experiences. Their involvement can also foster a culture of continuous improvement within the organisation. Another crucial aspect is technology. Leveraging the latest onboarding software can streamline processes, provide real-time analytics and enhance the overall experience for new hires. Regularly update your tools and platforms to ensure they meet the evolving needs of your organisation. Lastly, celebrate your successes. Recognise the efforts of your HR team and the positive impact of a well-executed onboarding programme. This not only boosts morale, but also reinforces the importance of continuous improvement. In conclusion, continuous improvement is the cornerstone of an effective onboarding process. By regularly reviewing metrics, gathering feedback, staying informed on industry trends, involving your team, leveraging technology and celebrating successes, you can ensure that your onboarding programme remains dynamic and impactful. Remember, the journey doesn't end with onboarding, it's just the beginning. The future of onboarding. As we look ahead, the landscape of onboarding is poised for transformative changes. With advancements in technology, evolving workplace dynamics and a growing emphasis on employee experience, onboarding is becoming more innovative and personalised than ever before. Imagine a future where virtual reality immerses new hires in a 360-degree tour of your office, even if they're halfway across the globe, or AI-driven chatbots that provide instant answers to their questions, guiding them through every step of the onboarding process. The future also holds the promise of predictive analytics. By analysing data from previous onboarding experiences, companies can predict and address potential challenges before they arise, ensuring a smoother transition for new employees. Moreover, the rise of remote work has accelerated the need for robust digital onboarding solutions. 
Organizations are now investing in platforms that facilitate seamless onboarding, regardless of location. These platforms integrate video conferencing, collaborative tools, and e-learning modules to create a cohesive and engaging onboarding experience. Personalization will play a pivotal role in the future of onboarding. Tailoring the onboarding process to meet the unique needs and preferences of each new hire will become the norm. This could include customized training programs, personalized welcome kits, and mentorship pairings based on individual career goals. Employee well-being will also take center stage. Future onboarding programs will prioritize mental health and work-life balance from day one. This could involve wellness initiatives, flexible work arrangements, and resources that support emotional well-being. In essence, the future of onboarding is about creating an experience that is not only efficient, but also enriching and meaningful. An experience that resonates with new hires and sets the stage for long-term success. As we embrace these innovations, it's crucial to remember that the human element remains at the heart of onboarding. Technology can enhance the process, but genuine connections, empathy and a supportive environment are irreplaceable. In conclusion, the future of onboarding is bright and full of possibilities. By leveraging cutting-edge technology, prioritizing personalization and fostering a culture of well-being, organizations can create onboarding experiences that truly inspire and empower their new hires. The journey is just beginning and the future holds endless opportunities for growth and innovation. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of onboarding. We hope you've gained valuable insights and are excited to implement these strategies in your organization. Here's to a future where every new hire feels welcomed, supported and ready to thrive. Onboarding for different generations. In today's diverse workplace, employees span multiple generations, each bringing unique perspectives, skills and expectations. From baby boomers and Generation X to millennials and Generation Z, understanding and addressing the distinct needs of each group is crucial for successful onboarding. Let's start with baby boomers. Born between 1946 and 1964, they value stability, face-to-face -face communication and clear organisational structures. When onboarding baby boomers, emphasize the company's history, mission, and long-term goals. Provide opportunities for in-person interactions and mentorship programs which can help build strong connections and trust. Next, we have Generation X, born between 1965 and 1980. This generation values independence, flexibility, and work-life balance. During onboarding, highlight opportunities for career growth and professional development. Offer flexible work arrangements and emphasize the importance of a healthy work-life balance. Providing clear expectations and autonomy in their roles will resonate well with Gen X employees. Millennials, born between 1981 and 1996, prioritize purpose, collaboration, and continuous feedback. When onboarding millennials, focus on the company's values, social impact, and opportunities for teamwork. Implement regular check-ins and feedback loops to keep them engaged and motivated. Emphasize the importance of a positive company culture and provide platforms for open communication and idea sharing. Finally, Generation Z, born after 1997, are digital natives who value innovation, diversity and instant access to information. Onboarding Gen Z requires a tech-savvy approach. Utilize digital tools, mobile apps, and e-learning modules to create an engaging and interactive onboarding experience. Promote diversity and inclusion initiatives and provide opportunities for them to contribute fresh ideas and perspectives. Regardless of the generation, personalization is key. Tailor the onboarding process to meet the individual needs and preferences of each new hire. Recognize that a one-size-fits-all approach won't work in a multi-generational workforce. By understanding and addressing the unique needs of each generation, organizations can create an onboarding experience that fosters inclusivity, engagement, and long-term success. Embrace the strengths and perspectives of every generation, and you'll build a more dynamic and resilient workforce. Thank you for exploring the importance of onboarding for different generations with us. Together, Let's create a workplace where every generation feels valued, supported and empowered to achieve their fullest potential. The role of technology in onboarding. 
In today's fast-paced, digitally driven world, technology plays a pivotal role in enhancing the onboarding experience. From streamlining administrative tasks to creating engaging interactive training modules, technology has revolutionized how new hires acclimate to their roles. Let's start with onboarding software. Modern onboarding platforms automate paperwork, track progress, and ensure compliance with ease. This allows HR teams to focus on more personalized aspects of the onboarding process, such as building relationships and providing support. Next, consider the power of virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR. These immersive technologies offer new hires a hands-on experience with their future work environment, even before they step foot in the office. VR and AR can simulate real-life scenarios, providing practical training in a risk-free setting. Mobile apps are another game-changer. With the rise of remote work and flexible schedules, mobile apps ensure that new hires have access to important information and resources anytime, anywhere. These apps can host training materials, company policies, and even social platforms to foster connection among employees. E-learning platforms are essential for continuous development. They offer a wide range of courses and modules that new hires can complete at their own pace. This not only supports skill development, but also demonstrates the company's commitment to ongoing education and growth. Don't forget about communication tools. Platforms like Slack, Microsoft Teams and Zoom facilitate seamless communication and collaboration, especially for remote teams. These tools help new hires feel connected and integrated into the company culture from day one. Finally, analytics and feedback tools provide valuable insights into the effectiveness of the onboarding process. By collecting and analyzing data, organizations can identify areas for improvement and continually refine their onboarding strategies. Incorporating technology into the onboarding process not only enhances efficiency, but also creates a more engaging and personalized experience for new hires. Embrace these technological advancements and you'll set the stage for a successful and fulfilling career journey for every new employee. Thank you for joining us in exploring the role of technology in onboarding. Let's continue to innovate and leverage these tools to build a more dynamic and connected workforce. Onboarding for leadership roles. Onboarding isn't just for entry-level positions. It's equally crucial for leaders who will steer the company towards success. Effective onboarding for leadership roles requires a tailored approach, emphasizing strategic alignment and company culture. First, let's talk about strategic alignment. New leaders must understand the company's vision, mission, and long-term goals. This ensures they can make decisions that align with the organization's direction. Provide them with detailed briefings on current projects, key performance indicators, and future plans. Next, immerse them in the company culture. Culture fit is critical for leaders as they set the tone for their teams. Arrange meetings with key stakeholders, including board members, department heads, and influential team members. These interactions will help new leaders understand the values, norms, and expectations within the organization. Mentorship plays a vital role in onboarding leaders. Pair them with seasoned executives who can provide guidance and support. This mentorship relationship fosters trust and accelerates the leader's integration into the company. Leadership development programs are essential. Offer training sessions on advanced management techniques, emotional intelligence, and effective communication. These programs not only enhance leadership skills, but also demonstrate the company's commitment to their growth. Feedback is crucial for new leaders. Establish regular check-ins and performance reviews to assess their progress and address any challenges. Constructive feedback helps them adapt and excel in their roles. Finally, ensure that new leaders have the resources they need. Provide access to critical tools, data and support staff. This enables them to hit the ground running and make informed decisions from day one. Onboarding for leadership roles is a strategic investment. By focusing on strategic alignment, company culture, mentorship, development programs, feedback and resources, you set the stage for their success. Effective leaders drive the company forward, inspiring their teams and achieving remarkable results. Thank you for joining us in exploring the nuances of onboarding for leadership roles. 
Stay tuned as we continue to delve deeper into creating a robust and dynamic onboarding experience. The impact of onboarding on retention. Onboarding isn't just a process, it's an investment in your company's future. Studies show that a strong onboarding program can improve employee retention by up to 82%. But how exactly does onboarding influence retention? First, consider the initial impression. A well-structured onboarding program makes new hires feel welcome and valued. This positive first impression sets the tone for their entire journey with your company. When employees feel appreciated from day one, they are more likely to stay engaged and committed. Next, think about clarity and confidence. Onboarding provides new hires with the knowledge and tools they need to succeed. When employees understand their roles, responsibilities and how they contribute to the company's goals, they feel more confident in their work. This confidence reduces anxiety and increases job satisfaction, which in turn boosts retention. Another crucial factor is connection. Effective onboarding fosters relationships between new hires and their colleagues. Building these connections early on creates a sense of belonging and community. Employees who feel connected to their team and company are more likely to stay long term. Onboarding also plays a key role in aligning expectations. Clear communication about job expectations, performance standards and career growth opportunities helps new hires understand what is expected of them. When expectations are aligned, employees are less likely to experience frustration and more likely to stay motivated. Furthermore, continuous support during the onboarding process is vital. Regular check-ins, feedback and mentoring sessions show new hires that the company is invested in their success. This ongoing support helps employees navigate challenges and feel supported, which enhances their overall experience and encourages them to stay. Lastly, consider the long-term impact. A strong onboarding program sets the foundation for future development. When employees see opportunities for growth and advancement within the company, they're more likely to stay and invest in their careers. In conclusion, effective onboarding is a powerful tool for improving employee retention. By creating a welcoming environment, providing clarity, fostering connections, aligning expectations, offering continuous support, and highlighting growth opportunities, you can significantly increase retention rates. Remember, your onboarding program is not just about the first few weeks. It's about setting the stage for a long and successful journey with your company. Thank you for joining us in exploring the impact of onboarding on retention. Stay tuned as we continue to uncover more strategies for creating an exceptional onboarding experience. Customizing onboarding programs. While a one-size-fits-all onboarding program might seem efficient, the reality is that customization can make a significant difference in the success of your new hires. But how do you tailor an onboarding experience to meet individual needs? First, consider the role-specific requirements. Different positions have unique responsibilities and challenges. By customizing training materials and resources for each role, you ensure that new hires receive the most relevant and applicable information. This targeted approach not only enhances their learning, but also boosts their confidence in their new role. Next, think about the individual's background and experience. Not all new hires come with the same level of knowledge or expertise. Tailoring the onboarding process to accommodate varying experience levels can help bridge knowledge gaps and provide a more personalized learning experience. This way, seasoned professionals and fresh graduates alike can hit the ground running. Another key aspect is cultural fit and integration. Every company has its own unique culture and helping new hires understand and embrace that culture is crucial. Customize onboarding activities to include cultural immersion sessions, team building exercises and mentorship programs. This not only fosters a sense of belonging, but also helps new employees align with the company's values and mission. Additionally, consider the learning styles and preferences of your new hires. Some people learn best through hands-on experience, while others prefer visual aids or written materials. Offering a variety of training formats, such as interactive workshops, video tutorials and written guides, can cater to different learning preferences and enhance the overall onboarding experience. Moreover, 
Feedback and continuous improvement play a vital role in customization. Regularly seek feedback from new hires about their onboarding experience and use this information to make necessary adjustments. This iterative approach ensures that your onboarding program remains dynamic and responsive to the needs of your employees. Lastly, leverage technology to facilitate customization. Use onboarding software and platforms that allow for personalized learning paths, progress tracking and interactive content. Technology can streamline the customization process, making it easier to deliver a tailored onboarding experience at scale. In conclusion, customizing your onboarding program is not just a nice to have, it's a strategic necessity. By considering role-specific requirements, individual backgrounds, cultural integration, learning preferences, feedback and technology, you can create a more engaging and effective onboarding experience. This level of personalization not only sets new hires up for success, but also fosters a deeper connection to your company. Thank you for joining us in exploring the importance of customizing onboarding programs. Stay tuned as we continue to uncover more strategies for creating an exceptional onboarding experience. Onboarding for diversity and inclusion. In today's global workforce, diversity and inclusion are not just buzzwords, but essential elements for innovation and success. How can you ensure your onboarding program supports and celebrates these values? Let's dive in. First, recognize and respect the diverse backgrounds of your new hires. This means being aware of different cultural norms, communication styles and perspectives. Providing training on cultural competency can help all employees appreciate and understand these differences, fostering a more inclusive environment. Next, incorporate diversity and inclusion into your onboarding content. Share your company's commitment to these values right from the start. Highlight the diverse voices within your organization through testimonials, case studies, and success stories. This not only sets the tone, but also demonstrates that diversity and inclusion are integral to your company culture. Additionally, create a safe space for open dialogue. Encourage new hires to share their experiences and perspectives during onboarding sessions. This can be facilitated through discussion groups, Q&A sessions and anonymous feedback channels. Open dialogue helps to break down barriers and build mutual understanding. Mentorship programs can also play a crucial role in fostering diversity and inclusion. Pair new hires with mentors from diverse backgrounds to provide support, guidance and a sense of belonging. Mentorship not only aids in professional development, but also helps new employees navigate the company's culture and values. Moreover, ensure that your onboarding materials and activities are accessible to everyone. This includes providing resources in multiple languages, offering flexible training formats and accommodating different abilities. Accessibility is key to creating an inclusive onboarding experience. Feedback is also vital. Regularly ask new hires about their onboarding experience and how it could be more inclusive. Use this feedback to continually improve your onboarding program and address any gaps. Lastly, celebrate diversity and inclusion milestones. Recognize and reward efforts that promote these values within your organization. Celebrations can include cultural events, diversity awards, and spotlighting inclusive practices. Celebrating these milestones reinforces their importance and encourages ongoing commitment. In conclusion, onboarding for diversity and inclusion is not a one-time effort, but a continuous journey. By recognizing diverse backgrounds, incorporating inclusive content, fostering open dialogue, providing mentorship, ensuring accessibility, gathering feedback and celebrating milestones, you can create an onboarding experience that truly supports and celebrates diversity and inclusion. Thank you for joining us in this chapter on onboarding for diversity and inclusion. Stay tuned as we continue to explore more strategies for creating an exceptional onboarding experience. The role of team building in onboarding. While individual skills and competencies are crucial, the ability to work effectively as a team can make or break a new hire's success. So how can you integrate team building into your onboarding process? Let's explore. First, start with icebreakers. Simple activities like fun quizzes, two truths and a lie, or virtual coffee chats can help new hires feel more comfortable and forge initial connections. These activities break the ice and set the stage for more meaningful interactions. 
Next, organize team building exercises that reflect your company's values and culture. Whether it's a collaborative project, a problem-solving challenge, or a creative brainstorming session, these exercises can help new hires understand how your team works together and what is expected of them. Additionally, consider off-site team building events. Activities like escape rooms, sports events, or volunteer work can provide a relaxed environment for team members to bond and build trust. These experiences often lead to stronger relationships and a sense of camaraderie. Don't forget virtual team building for remote employees. Online games, virtual happy hours and digital scavenger hunts are great ways to engage remote hires and make them feel part of the team. Technology can bridge the gap and create a sense of unity, no matter the distance. Peer mentorship is another effective strategy. Pairing new hires with seasoned team members can provide them with a go-to person for questions, guidance and support. Peer mentors can help new hires navigate their roles and integrate more smoothly into the team. Moreover, encourage open communication and collaboration from day one. Create an environment where new hires feel comfortable sharing ideas, asking questions and contributing to team discussions. This fosters a culture of inclusion and teamwork. Lastly, celebrate team achievements. Recognize and reward team efforts through shout-outs, awards or team outings. Celebrations reinforce the importance of teamwork and motivate new hires to actively participate in team activities. In conclusion, integrating team building into your onboarding process is essential for creating a cohesive and effective team. By starting with icebreakers, organizing team building exercises, considering off-site events, engaging remote employees, implementing peer mentorship, encouraging open communication, and celebrating achievements, you can ensure that new hires are not just joining a company, but becoming part of a team. Thank you for joining us in this chapter on the role of team building in onboarding. Stay tuned as we continue to uncover more strategies for creating an exceptional onboarding experience. Onboarding for different departments. While company-wide onboarding programs are essential, each department has its unique needs and challenges. Tailoring the onboarding process to fit the specific requirements of different departments can significantly enhance the new hire experience. Let's dive into how you can customize onboarding for various departments. First, understand the unique workflows and responsibilities of each department. For instance, the onboarding process for a marketing team will differ significantly from that of the IT department. Marketing might focus on brand guidelines, content strategies and social media tools, whereas IT would need in-depth training on network security, software development and system protocols. Next involve department heads in the onboarding process. They can provide valuable insights into the specific skills and knowledge new hires need to succeed in their roles. This ensures that the onboarding content is relevant and practical. Additionally, department heads can introduce new hires to key team members and outline departmental goals and expectations. Consider creating customized onboarding checklists for each department. These checklists can include department-specific training sessions, resources and milestones. For example, the sales department might have a checklist that covers product knowledge, sales techniques and CRM software training. On the other hand, the HR department might focus on compliance, employee relations and recruitment processes. Department-specific mentors can also play a crucial role in onboarding. Assigning a mentor from within the department helps new hires get acclimated to their roles faster. Mentors can provide hands-on training, share departmental best practices and offer ongoing support. This personalised guidance can make a significant difference in a new hire's confidence and productivity. Moreover, cross-departmental training sessions can be beneficial. These sessions allow new hires to understand how different departments collaborate and contribute to the company's overall success. For example, a joint training session between the product development and customer support teams can highlight how product features impact customer satisfaction. Lastly, gather feedback from new hires and department heads to continuously improve the onboarding process. 
Regularly review and update your onboarding materials to ensure they remain relevant and effective. By doing so, you can address any gaps or challenges and provide a seamless onboarding experience for future hires. In conclusion, tailoring the onboarding process to fit the unique needs of different departments is crucial for the success of new hires. By understanding departmental workflows involving department heads, creating customized checklists, assigning mentors, organizing cross-departmental training and gathering feedback, you can create a comprehensive and effective onboarding program. Thank you for joining us in this segment on onboarding for different departments. Stay tuned as we continue to explore more strategies for creating an exceptional onboarding experience. The role of feedback in onboarding. Feedback is a critical component of any successful onboarding program. It helps new hires understand their progress, identify areas for improvement, and feel more connected to their new workplace. Let's explore how feedback can enhance the onboarding experience. First, establish a culture of open and honest communication from day one. Encourage new hires to ask questions, share their thoughts, and seek clarification whenever needed. This fosters a supportive environment where feedback is seen as a tool for growth rather than criticism. Next, provide regular and timely feedback throughout the onboarding process. Don't wait for formal performance reviews, instead offer constructive feedback in real time. This allows new hires to make immediate adjustments and feel more confident in their roles. Incorporate both positive reinforcement and constructive criticism. Acknowledge the strengths and achievements of new hires to boost their morale and motivation. At the same time, provide specific and actionable feedback on areas that need improvement. This balanced approach helps new hires grow and develop their skills effectively. Additionally, gather feedback from new hires about their onboarding experience. Use surveys, interviews or informal check-ins to understand their perspectives and identify any challenges they may be facing. This feedback is invaluable for refining and improving your onboarding programme. Consider implementing a buddy system where new hires are paired with experienced employees. Buddies can offer peer-to-peer -peer feedback and support, making the onboarding process more relatable and less intimidating. This also helps new hires build relationships and integrate into the company culture more quickly. Furthermore, ensure that feedback is a two-way street Encourage new hires to provide feedback to their managers and team members. This creates a collaborative environment where everyone is committed to continuous improvement. Lastly, use feedback to set clear goals and expectations for new hires. Regularly review their progress and adjust their development plans as needed. This helps new hires stay focused and motivated, knowing that their growth is being actively supported. In conclusion, feedback plays a vital role in the onboarding process. By fostering open communication, providing timely and balanced feedback, gathering insights from new hires, implementing a buddy system, promoting two-way feedback and setting clear goals, you can create a more effective and engaging onboarding experience. Thank you for joining us in this chapter on the role of feedback in onboarding. Stay tuned as we continue to explore more strategies for creating an exceptional onboarding experience. Onboarding for international employees. Navigating the onboarding process can be challenging for anyone, but international employees often face unique hurdles. From cultural differences to navigating a new country, it's crucial to provide them with the right support. Let's dive into how we can make their transition smoother and more welcoming. First, offer a comprehensive relocation package that covers essential aspects like visa assistance, housing and travel arrangements. This not only reduces stress, but also shows that you value their well-being. Next, Provide cultural orientation sessions to help them understand the local customs, workplace norms and social etiquette. This will enable them to integrate more seamlessly into both the company and the community. Language barriers can be another significant challenge. Offer language support services like language classes or translation tools. This will help international hires communicate more effectively and feel more confident in their new roles. Additionally, create a mentorship program that pairs international employees with local colleagues. Mentors can offer valuable insights, answer questions and provide emotional support during the transition period. Ensure that all onboarding materials, such as handbooks and training modules, are available in multiple languages. 
This makes it easier for international employees to understand important information and feel included from day one. Furthermore, be mindful of cultural differences in communication styles, work habits and expectations. Training your team to be culturally sensitive will foster a more inclusive and harmonious work environment. Host regular check-ins to address any concerns or challenges they may be facing. Open communication lines are essential for identifying and resolving issues promptly. Consider organising social events and team-building activities that celebrate cultural diversity. These events can help international employees feel more connected and valued within the organisation. Lastly, provide resources for personal and professional development tailored to their unique needs. This shows that you are committed to their long-term success and growth within the company. In conclusion, onboarding international employees requires a thoughtful and comprehensive approach. By offering relocation assistance, cultural orientation, language support, mentorship, multilingual materials, cultural sensitivity training, regular check-ins, social activities and tailored development resources, you can create a welcoming and supportive environment for your international hires. Thank you for joining us in this chapter on onboarding for international employees. Stay tuned as we continue to explore more strategies for creating an exceptional onboarding experience. The role of communication in onboarding. Communication is the backbone of any successful onboarding process. It sets the tone for the new hire's experience and significantly impacts their integration into the company. Let's explore how effective communication can transform your onboarding program. First and foremost, clear and consistent communication begins before day one. Ensure that new hires receive all necessary information such as their start date, schedule and initial tasks well in advance. This helps to alleviate any pre-start anxiety and sets clear expectations. Next, establish a central point of contact for new employees. This could be an HR representative or a dedicated onboarding coordinator. Having a go-to person for questions and concerns ensures that new hires feel supported and valued. Utilize multiple communication channels to reach out to your new hires. Email, instant messaging, video calls and even phone calls can be used to convey important information and build rapport. This multi-channel approach ensures that no critical details are missed. Regular check-ins are vital during the onboarding process. Schedule weekly or bi-weekly meetings to discuss progress, address any challenges and provide feedback. These check-ins create an open dialogue and demonstrate your commitment to their success. Transparency is key. Be honest about company goals, values and any potential challenges the new hire might face. This builds trust and helps new employees understand the bigger picture. Encourage two-way communication. Invite new hires to share their thoughts, ideas and feedback. This fosters a collaborative environment and shows that their input is valued from the start. Leverage technology to streamline communication. Use onboarding platforms, project management tools, and communication apps to keep everyone on the same page. These tools can help automate routine tasks and provide a centralized hub for all onboarding materials. Personalize your communication. Tailor your messages to the individual needs and preferences of each new client. This could be as simple as acknowledging their preferred communication style or recognising their unique contributions. Finally, foster a culture of continuous feedback. Encourage ongoing communication between new hires, their managers and team members. This helps to identify and resolve issues quickly, ensuring a smoother onboarding experience. In conclusion, effective communication is essential for the Establishing a point of contact, utilising multiple channels, scheduling regular check-ins, being transparent, encouraging two-way communication, leveraging technology, personalising messages, and fostering feedback. Thank you for joining us.